Hey guys, it's Alex's Creative Corner here back with another video and today is part 4 of the Rainbow and Silkwing, Silkwing tutorial. In this tu tutorial we will be doing the 3rd uh, and 4th wings which are the back two and we will also be doing the neck. So at the start of this video you should have your two big wings, your front legs, your back legs, and your head. So... Um, let's start out with the neck. So you're, I already put these on here. So what you're gonna need to do is two bands at a time, and and starting from the sixth peg, go two bands, two bands, two bands with your body color. I just added some blue spots because I just kind of felt like it. And you will also need to make um, five spikes. So here, I'll show you how to make one. So get one spike color. I'm using dark blue because that's what I use for like the horns and the veins. So wrap it around your hook five times, get a double looped band, um, double looped spike color, pull the cap band on, then reclaim and get three spike colored bands, pull that on, reclaim, and so you're gonna need to have five of those. So now let's, um, so now you need to get your head and you need to get the so there are there are six tying bands on here there are three bottom ones and there are three top ones stay away from the bottom ones only use the three top ones so get your hook and go through the these loops and take off the tying band make sure you went through all of the loops so they don't um, fall apart and attach those four bands or four loops onto that peg okay and now we're going to do the exact same thing with the middle but it make sure you still have to make sure it's the top to the top loops. So get go through those four loops, take off the tying band, and put that right on there. And do the same on the other side. Sorry if my hand's in the way. But yeah, just do the same thing. So your hook is through those bands. Take off the tying band. And then attach these bands. So it should look like that right now. And so now you're going to get your hook, go through these top two bands. that. So we just put on like four loops. Go through the top loops with your hook. Leave it on your hook. Go through these top loops and then go through these top loops. Leave them all on your hook like that. And now get... And so now get two horizontal bands, or two bands for our horizontal band's body color, and place them across these three pegs, these three pegs, these three pegs, these three, pe these three pegs, and now place them across these three. So now you can put those two, top two bands um, back onto the peg that they came from. So this one, those two go right there. And then those two go right there. And then those two go right there. So like that. And now you can go through the middle set. And wait. Um, now go through the middle and go dig down all the way to the bottom. Get the very bottom two bands. And um, try to loom those, but don't like loom them yet. Just get those two bands. And you're going to slide a horn, I mean a spike, right onto them. And then put them back onto that next peg. So it should look like that. And now we're going to do that all the way down. So, loom up right there, and then get a spike, slide it on, and put that put those two bands on the peg. 
and then same thing right over here right there and then same thing right here and then slide those bands right onto there and then these last two with your final spike on like that okay just like that so now we're just gonna loom on the sides make sure not to grab the uh, horizontal bands that'll make it look really weird Okay, there, 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 and there, all the way down, and then same thing on this side. Okay, um, so now you're going to get three random bands of a different color than the color that you're using in your body color. Any color except for like the colors that you're using because you might get confused with those because they might get mixed up and then you're going to do it wrong. So now you're going to pull that to a tying band and then the same thing right Okay, so you should have those three tied off, and now you can take it off, and so it should look like this. That's the uh, the top of your neck and then your head, so it should look like that. You guys, if you're doing different colors, it's not going to look like that, but it should look, the design should look something like that. Just like that. So, yeah. There's a little blue stripe right there, but that's okay with me. And then, so there's your head. So now we're going to make the back wings. Okay, so now we're going to make like the second wing, the small, like the smaller wing. So um, this is how my um, like first one looks like. So they're like really small compared to the big ones, but I think it's pretty good. So yeah, let's get started on that. So you're going to need um, four strips of loom, whatever it's called. And so, yeah, let's start out with the, um, the um, wing vein color, which is also like your spikes. So go down. Let me see how much I did on here. I went down. seven times so go down one two five six wait let me see if it's six or seven i'm not quite sure No, six. I think I'm counting. I'm just going to say it's six. Yeah, it was six. So now we'll get your, um, your wing color, which is going to be like that light blue. So go down seven times. Um, on this row.
seven and now go um like that um right here and then just go down okay. yeah two bands at a time still this whole time sorry it's taking me a long time to like get the bands on here because these are used and i have to get two at a time it's annoying. Okay, here and now. And then we're going to get two coming out from right there. And then they're going to go like that. And then like that. So, so now I'll get your wing vein color. And there then there and now you're gonna get two bands at a time for your horizontal and go um, across those three pegs and then two bands across these three pegs and then a double looped body color which for me is purple and go right there and then Go right here, so two right there, and then now we're gonna go two they um two across those three pegs, and two across those three pegs, and then get a double -looped, um a double looped body color, and go across those two, and then another double looped body color. And go across those two. And now we're going to make like a little spike. So um, wrap a wing vein color around five times. Get a double looped. Pull that on. Re no. Pull that on. Reclaim. And then you're going to attach this right there onto that end peg just like that and you're also gonna do that one more time so get um, one band wrapped around five times get a double looped reclaim and you're gonna put that around that on um <coughs> we're gonna put that I'm still just looking on here that around this peg so it should look like that right now and so now we're gonna start to loom so dig down here grab the top two bands which are these two blue and then Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. 
No. Yeah. Grab these two bands. And there. And then these two bands. Put in there. So now we're just gonna loom all the way up. Make sure not to grab the horizontal bands while you're looming. And so now go down dig deep in here. And loom only, don't loom all the way on this set, only go to right here. So only go to right there. And now dig down in this one and loom and stop right here. So just right there. And now go through this set and loom this. And then you loom um, this. Diagonal, diagonal set of bands. I only got one. Yeah, make sure you get both of them. And then now you can loom here. And then you can also loom right here. And then now you can Now, like that, and then, eh, I fell off. So yeah, once you loom to there, then you can keep looming. Like that, and now you can tie it off. I'm just gonna use like two brown bands. Don't use the band, the um, it's better not to use like the band that you're like using in the wing. We're not done with this wing yet, we still have one little part and then also the vein but you guys know how to do the vein if you already did the big one the big wing so now you're going to I'm just straightening mine out Okay, so it should look somewhat like this. So now we're just going to get just two bands. So go right here and then, oh yeah, go right there. And then go right here and then go right here and go right here and now you're gonna get a double looped body color and put that on right there and now get your 
your wing and put this right here and then this one um take off the tying bands when you do this and then right there so all four loops are on there and so now take off the uh top two loops on that one and leave it on your hook and then take off the top two loops on there and then get a double loop body color and put it around those two pegs so horizontal band right there horizontal band right there which are double looped and now you want to put the two bands back from where you got them so those two go right there and then these go right there and so now you can just loom two right here and then right there and right there so now you can just tie it off with two two um two random color bands that you aren't using and then brown band them off. Now you can pull that off. It's not quite done yet. Not quite yet. So. So it, so it should look somewhat like this. I might have made a little mess up around right there, but like should be a little bit like that. So now we just have to make this tiny wing vein. So just get your hook go through those sets like like about pretty much a um in the vein that is like above like that's right above there so and then get two bands on your hook eh it should be easier for you guys cuz i already showed you how to do this in Part three. This is part four. I showed you how to do it in the big wings. So now I get two more of the wing vein color. Put it onto there. And then just get two, two more. Pull them, pull them through, and so you can put the last two like over this guy, and then over this, and then you can wrap them on the spike, just like that. So it should look somewhat like that. So made those two wings. So by the end of this video, by the end of this part, you should have, in this part we made these two back wings and then we also made the neck. So yeah, and so since we made the neck, you should have you should okay so you should have those little wings you know an idea if you don't want to if you want to make blue but or any silk wing but before they went through metamorphosis you might be able to use these wings and make them a little bit smaller and it could be like the wing buds just an idea so um then by the end of this video, you should have like um, um, the things from the other parts, the big wings and the little wings, 
and then front leg, front legs, and I put it on the wrong side. Front leg, and then back legs. So these are the parts that you should have right now. And in the next video, um, in part five, we're probably going to start on the body. So bye.